Welcome to Tip of the Day, brought to you by Scrapbook Expo. My name is Victor Velez, and I'm here with Kuretake Zig Corporation in Sacramento, California. Today's Tip of the Day is involving our, one of our newest products, the Wink of Luna. The Wink of Luna is a water-based metallic brush pen, and these beauties are just phenomenal to work with. Uh, they come in nine vibrant colors, and the metallic sets are just really great for so many applications. And what I'm going to show you today is to do a nice background using our water brush and a water color paper. So what you want to do is you take your paper. This is actually made for uh, watercolors. So this can be saturated with water. And what I'm going to be using is one of our own products called the Brush 2O. Now the Brush 2O has uh, just plain water in it. And what you can do with this one is to just add as much water as you can. S please saturate it very well because what's going to happen is once it dries up, it's going to be a little more difficult to put in all of the ink. And there we go. Now this just uses regular water. and There's nothing too special about the water. It's just normal water from tap water or water from the garden hose, uh, just use the water and you're good. So now that we have this very wet, what I'm going to do is do kind of an aqua themed background. So I'm going to be using this blue and you can see how it just spreads out very nicely. There we go. And then I'm going to be using the green color with a nice little dark background. Gives it like a deep sea feel. Okay. Now just a little bit of the silver. Okay, now I go back to my water brush pen and just distribute the water. Now the thing about this is that because it's water-based, it's going to sink through um, any light fabric, paper towel. So please be sure that you are using a uh, nice little uh, back using uh, paper towels like I'm using here or something that is uh, inexpensive and easy for you to, uh, to use or something you don't mind messing up. So once that's done, I'm going to use extra paper towel over here. And I use this to add some texture. There we go, lighten this up a little bit. Now this takes a few minutes to dry, so in, uh, in order to save time, what I have done is already prepared one. Let me put this, excuse me. So I already prepared one, it's one like this. And I'm going to be using a fish stamp. These are great on stamps. And the beauty about the Luna is that it caters to whatever your needs are, meaning you can distribute as much ink as you need so the flow can be as very little or as, as much as you like. There we go. So let me turn this around. So depending on the color that uh, you use and that you want, you can use uh, so many different, uh, so many different kinds. In this case, we have nine different colors to choose from. I use the silver because I think it'll stand out just a little more, uh, especially with uh, dark colors. And this is great, not just for um, watercolor. Um, uh, backgrounds, but also it's perfect for black or just plain dark color uh, cards because of its high opaque ink. Thank you for watching Tip of the Day. Again, my name is Victor Velez with Kuretake Zir Corporation. Enjoy.